inches high, dead center. Good shot. Where it's supposed to be. Yep. I've had a chance to hunt with lots of guides in British Columbia, the Yukon, and Alaska, and I always get lucky and get a great guide, and, and Ryan sure fits that profile. What really impresses me is how excited he gets when he sees, a, when he sees an animal and planting the stock, and even though it's new for me, it's, uh, it's his 10th or 11th time this season, and um, probably the, the coolest thing is the way he mouth calls moose. We've had several bulls that uh, have just rushed where we've had to actually run back to the boat in fear of getting knocked over by these bulls because he makes them he makes them think that he's uh, that he's the prettiest moose in town. He's in love with Ryan. He's still standing here. I don't think he's gonna go. Yeah, he didn't want to leave. You'll probably hang your picture on a tree tonight. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna try a little bit different tactic uh, to hunt sheep today. We're gonna get in a raft and float the river and, and glass up and see what we can see. Um, first morning of the hunt, we just got in last night and uh, super cubbed into this, uh, into this cabin that's on the river where, where, uh, where the outfitter, Jim Fink, has a, has a raft. And we're, uh, we're ready to, to go down the river and see what we find, catch a few grayling and and maybe see a moose, a grizzly, and hopefully some sheep. A great big bull. He's just downstream about 300 yards. Tony spotted him as we come around the corner. The wind's at our back. Hopefully that doesn't bother him. We're gonna go down. I'm gonna cow call, try and bring him across to this gravel bar. Okay, let's go. Picture, That's right? a giant. He's a big bull. He's hit good too. I don't he know why he did. But uh, I'm not sure. Oh man, I'm pumped. 64, 65. Yeah, something yeah. like that. We got a 
gotta watch him. Oh, wow. Lots of points, huge fronts. You got four on one side and six on another. Yep. And big, big daggers. Huh? You see these big folds yeah. in here? Yeah. The whole ball. All these big crinkles here, that's what you're looking for. Still got quite a bit of sun, too. Yeah. Well, let's get him cut up. Sounds good. All right. We just happened to look up in a basin right above where we were. Uh, uh, standing in the water, and we see some ewes and lambs, and pretty soon two rams come along. I, I've been really fortunate to hunt uh, hunt sheep for uh, almost 25 years now, and uh, to me, they're the greatest animal, greatest game animal in the world. Well, that'd be another easy spot to kill one. One looked really, really good. Big, heavy old sheep. And even though it was three miles uh, to where he was, we decided to pack our uh, backpacks and rifles and go after him. I was excited and we were ready to go, so up the mountain we went. smaller rams actually came over the ridge, but we froze solid, um, let him walk back over, and then we hand crawled up the mountain, started getting on the ridge and walking to where we hoped the two rams would be with, uh, with the smaller rams and ewes. And unbelievably, my guy dropped all fours and said, shoot him, and the big ram was standing about 40 yards ahead of us. That's what I want. Look, he's gorgeous colored. He is a true fan and sheep. Got the gray eye patches. Yep. Gray eye patches and the black tail. Yep. A real beautiful sheep. Well, congratulations again. Good job. How's that for a sheep hunt? That was a classic sheep hunt. Unbelievable.